So nice to have you here on WKYT. Screenings in children can play an important role in their academic performance. Dr. Shelley Heath with Bluegrass Hearing Clinic is here to tell us more about it. Thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you all for having me. These tests are very important, aren't they? Yes, yes, very important. Um, hearing loss in children ages 6 to 19 affects about 12.5% of all children. So hearing is crucial for speech and language development, school performance, learning, and just general communication. So it's really important to identify as quickly okay, as possible. Do those screenings. Uh, what are some of the signs of possible hearing loss in children that, that, that maybe parents and others can look for? Mm -hmm. So some of it's similar to adults, asking for repetitions, saying what or huh, um, the TV being up a little bit louder, but often it can just be fatigue, maybe poor school performance, um, trouble paying attention, seeming like they're daydreaming, things like that. So what do you do if you start seeing some of those flags and you think, you know, we may have a problem, what do you need to do? Mm -hmm. I would say be in good contact with the teacher mm -hmm. and see kind of what they think as well from a support standpoint and then see a doctor of audiology for a comprehensive hearing um, assessment. Are the schools pretty good right now about uh, providing some screenings along the way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's usually school screenings every couple of years. Some schools do them every year which does a great job of catching hearing loss, but it doesn't provide an accurate diagnosis in terms of what's causing it. Is it permanent? Should they see a doctor, ear infections, yep. that kind of thing. And does it worry you when a, a lot of times you see kids and you see them with, they're hooked in. Yeah. They're listening to music, <laughs> right. they're doing yeah. something. Yeah. Does that worry yeah. you? Yeah. Noise-induced hearing loss in the pediatric population is becoming more common all the time mm -hmm. between, you know, loud, sporting events, marching band, you know, hunting, things like that, and then earbuds. You're yeah. exactly right. Uh, is that a lesson for all of us? I mean, people it is. wear it even is. The, the, you know, the, the noise canceling headphones and that's all in the world they're gonna be hearing, yeah. right? Is I tell it, everyone, yeah. you're born with the same ears that you have all the way through adulthood, so the damage can happen at any point and it all adds up together. All right, so watch for the signs and make sure you get those regular checks. Mm -hmm. Thank Good you advice. very much. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you all.